What's going on guys, it's your boy Irku Bangs. You know how on platforms such as Discord and Reddit, occasionally there happens to be a moderator with inferiority or superiority complex, and if you just breathe the wrong way, they just go on a power trip and ban you for no apparent reason, you know, just because they felt like it. Have you ever wondered what kind of a sweaty slob is sitting behind the screen, rubbing his hands together? and licking his lips while waiting for his next victim just so he can show them who's the boss around here well luckily for you guys you don't need to wonder anymore because i have found the moderator that banned me so you can at least get a rough idea of what kind of people are sitting behind the screen but first let me give you some context on what went down and how i got to this point you know i was browsing through reddit just like any regular day and i saw a post somebody complaining about andrew tate you know the usual I normally avoid engaging in such conversations, but I just went through the comments to have a look at what people were saying. And I saw the hidden message which was mainly due to downvotes, and some random guy said, and it's people like you who add fuel to his fire, like, like you let some guy live rent free in your head because you don't like what he says. Someone who you will never meet in person or probably ever see in real life, just doesn't make sense. I mean, he does have a point. I don't understand why people were offended as he was just speaking facts. But this just goes to show our society today. Everybody is offended by the smallest thing, bunch of snowflakes. And then this is the moderator that I replied to. He says, As a heterosexual male, it is my best interest to dissociate myself from people who would otherwise give my cohort a bad reputation. Because if I don't, then people will associate me with them against my will. And the only way to do that is to call them out and express disgust. That should make sense from the point of view as someone with such a self-centered comment history as you have oh poor man child they will associate you with somebody against your will let's fucking cry about it why not are you worried that you'll get cancelled while being a nobody it must really trigger your insecurities the self-importance is real with this guy and i replied to him you care that much what people think of you bud or are you trying too hard to appeal to the masses let me ask you another question to get a better idea do you have any opinions that wouldn't be considered politically correct about anything at all and i said that because he seemed so worried of being the black sheep of the herd by just having a different opinion than everybody else this is probably the reason why he resorted to trying to offend me in his next reply which is i'm liking the fact that unlike you my personality allows me to get laid oh man how am i going to recover from that oh buddy it better be your personality that gets you laid because it definitely isn't the way you look as you guys will see in a bit plus why is a 50 year old dude worrying about whether another man gets laid this is probably why you don't have a woman in your life because of your amazing personality but anyway and then i replied to him if I were insecure about myself, I might have taken offense, lol. But I'm now curious, which part of my genuine question offended you so much that you felt the need to resort to insults? I was genuinely confused what triggered him so much. I must have really hurt his fragile ego, or rather, his fragile masculinity. And then he replies again, lol dude, stop lying. You're extremely tilted and have been while typing every single comment in here. Stop trying to pick fights. Extremely tilted? Where? Trying to pick fights? How? Motherfucker is delusional. And at that point I was obviously confused and I told him, buddy sorry to say but you're confusing me for someone. I replied twice to you, my first comment being the question directed to you and second comment was asking which part of my comment offended you, this being the third comment. And I was genuinely confused at that point and you guys can read the rest. And you know at the end I love how he goes like cool, bye, banned and mind you this coming from a 50 year old, Jesus Christ. The thing is I wanted to get into a genuine discussion, I wasn't even trolling or anything but he kept on saying I'm tilted, I'm trying to pick a fight, well you know what motherfucker now I'm trying to pick a fight, how about that? on a platform where you have no fucking power how about that and you know what all of the accounts that i found of him i'm gonna tag them on this video just so i can make sure that he sees this video miserable old fart so you know the internet being how it is it's pretty easy finding things about somebody by just looking up their handle but being the curious person that i am i just wanted to see what type of person was behind the screen then lo and behold it was actually an old man in his 50s living with a dozen cats and apparently used to upload fortnite gameplay they ain't even, they just fucking hell at night. 
Thank God you stuck to your day job buddy, making YouTube videos for 10 years on 3 different channels. That obviously wasn't working out for you. But it seems like you found yourself a suitable gig, being a full time moderator on reddit for free. You don't even get paid for it you degenerate. But that definitely must satisfy your cravings for attention and power, doesn't it? You know what's really ironic, he made a video called an open letter to Chris from the rewired soul in which he's complaining about people in a discord server stroking each other's egos and people getting banned for disagreeing with the wrong person. I feel like they're being offered solutions apart from being told to pipe down deal with the fact that it's being used for the sake of stroking egos instead of supporting each other. That ain't cool man. Where do you think people go when they turn away from there if it isn't to the community of former moderators and other members who have been ostracized and banned from the server for disagreeing with the wrong person. Hang on. But wait, isn't that the exact same thing you're doing? Oh man, the hypocrisy. But now I can see why you are the way you are. Because you're projecting, that's why. I'm sorry I couldn't give a fuck what you moderate though. I'm not glazing anybody. I'm not stroking anybody's ego. If I hurt your fragile masculinity, that's your problem, not mine. Don't come crying to me. You're a grown man. So here you go, guys. This is how your average Discord and Reddit moderators look like. Maybe some are slightly different, of course. And by that I mean give or take a few X's on the t-shirt size. And maybe a musty neck. But other than that, they're generally miserable, power hungry, lonely, insecure cure with really fragile egos. I honestly couldn't imagine myself sitting on a computer every day waiting for my next band victim but to each their own. If you got this far thank you for watching and if you want to support your favorite foreigner just drop a like and a comment that's all I ask for. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. And to my man Jeff the moderator I leave this eggplant at the end with you in mind. No hard feelings big boy. Erko bangs I'm out.